So hi everyone and welcome. Uh, we have Peter Baxter today with us and I'm going to ask him a few questions. Hi Peter, thank you for being here with us. Hi Georgia. <laughs> so uh, Peter, what brought you to filmmaking and what do you love about it? Well, what I love about filmmaking is the opportunity to tell a story and to try and keep people engaged in that story for, you know, whether it's a short film, I mean, I'm making features, so for, you know, 90 minutes or so. That's my, that's my challenge, and that's what I love doing. And uh, do you like better doing uh, documentaries than storytelling, or do you do both? Well, I've directed mostly documentaries, but I really do like narrative feature filmmaking as well, and whether I'm a director or a producer, I can uh, work between both. I really enjoy that, and, and one of the reasons why I do is that I love working with emerging filmmaking talent and uh, great new storytellers, which is obviously part of what the Slam Dance story is about, and how really I've been able to you know, carry on creating films myself, but also working with emerging talent. Exactly. What brought you to create your own um, festival? And wh what do you see in an upcoming uh, filmmaker that make you say, OK, I want this one in my festival? Well, for me, I came from England. And uh, as I was getting into filmmaking out of college, I realized that this is a very difficult environment for me to, to try and um, be a part of, because at that time, I. I didn't know anyone in the film industry, and it felt to me that it was very um, exclusive. And um, but you know, I had this opportunity to work in the United States, and I felt that there was more freedom there, and it was more inclusive. And um, and it turned out to be the case, you know, for me when I arrived in Los Angeles, that there were people there that were willing and uh, open to give me the opportunity of of uh, making making film. And um, but. You know, with that, when I made my first feature, it was uh, very difficult for that to be seen in the United States. And uh, the first feature that I produced actually was rejected by the Sundance Film Festival. So I was one of the original co-founders of Slamdance. And the reason why we started it is because, just like myself, um, we'd all been rejected from Sundance. But we wanted an opportunity to showcase our work. And uh, so that's what we did. And then we realized there were going to be other filmmakers like us that wanted that same opportunity. And so we decided then to continue Slam Dance. And the kind of the worldview of Slam Dance is to be inclusive, uh, to really embrace all types of filmmakers and all types of um, storytelling, you know, wherever it be around the world. And I think that's what we've become known for. And also we've become known for a showcase of discovering, you know, great new great new talent. We're an artist-led organization. I think one of the reasons why we've been successful is we've let artists, them dis artists themselves decide the program. And um, that's sort of what makes us unique. And uh, it's worked. You know, it's worked out. And that's what we still do today. Yeah, that's amazing. I know that a big name like Christopher Nolan started as Lambdens, kind of. Um, how, how was uh, seeing him back then and now for, for you that um, you created Slam Dance and kind of gave him the opportunity to showcase himself. Yeah, well, Chris is actually one of those filmmakers, like actually, you know, a lot of others that got their start, you know, at Slam Dance and have gone on to change the movie industry, really, in which we, you know, work, work today. And there have been quite a few others, you know, like Chris that have gone on to, you know, to do that. And, um, you know, back then when they, you know, first showed their films in this very intimate, you know, environment in Park City, we were actually at the top of Main Street um, in a ski resort town, you know, in, in, in Utah. But um, it's a very close-knit, you know, community and environment. And it makes for a real um, special one, I think, around industry members, audience members and filmmakers. And it's very often their first showcase, the first time actually they're premiering their film. But I think with the support of the Slam Dance community, not just during the festival, but also year round, it makes a difference. And it enables filmmakers like Chris to be seen and then to make their next step in their, in their film career. And do you, do you select the movies yourself or do you have other people working with you? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's um, 
it's nice of you to say that I'm selecting, but I'm just one of the filmmakers that's a programmer. And what's unique about Slam Dance is that as an artist-led organization, we invite the artists back every year to help program the festival. So for this coming year, we've got over 200 programmers already. And all of these programmers then have had involvement with the festival before, and they have a stake in the festival. And that's why we have this mantra, by filmmakers, for filmmakers. So it's the opportunity then for filmmakers who've been part of Slam Dance before to come back and to help support the next generation of filmmakers. And so in turn, this is how we grow and this is how we develop as an artist-led organization. So I'm just one of those programmers in one of those programming teams. That's amazing. Um, how long is the process, though, from when you start so selecting or choosing uh, what to showcase till the actual festival? Yeah, so we open... Um, so the festival process is that we do, we do a call for submissions, and because we get so many submissions, we um, last year had received over 11,000 submissions for Slam Dance. So we begin in June, um, and then we go all the way through to the end of, uh, end of November, where we make our final selections. And then we will have our showcase then at the end of, the end of January, the, follow, the following year. OK, that's a long time, so it takes a lot of passion, in my opinion, and that's amazing. Um, do you, you also help screenwriter, um, right? Um, so what, what makes a good screenwriter and a good screenplay, in your opinion? Well, Slam Dance is about supporting the emerging talent, so whether it be a writer or whether it be a director. And in the screenplay competition, you know, we're looking for writers that are really challenging themselves with different ways of telling stories that we haven't quite seen before, that are taking risks and are going to stand out as and have a unique voice that we believe. It may not be perfect and polished at that point, but with further support from our community, from the festival, um, that can come in, in time. And so in many ways we're looking for you know, raw talent that comes through the festival. That's what our, I think our judges are looking for most in the screenplay competition. Okay, thank you so much. And how has been your experience here at Not Film Fest so far? Well, I love coming to Not because um, Giovanni first approached uh, me and Slam Dance about wanting to find out how Slam Dance got started and using really Slam Dance as a kind of inspiration really for Not. And so obviously given the focus on supporting independent filmmakers and Italian filmmaking and independent filmmakers from around the world, that's something which really attracted me to Not. And uh, I've been very um, happy to you know, support the festival, not just here but elsewhere as, as well. And I think this is such a special location, Santa Cangelo, to have the Not Film Festival in for filmmakers. It's an environment which I think, like Slam Dance, um, invites filmmakers to come closely together and to share their creative experiences. And from that comes further creativity. I mean, this is one of the reasons why you know, we have film festivals. It's for uh, the ability to showcase the, uh, the work to an audience, sometimes industry members, sometimes people just love independent cinema. But it's also an opportunity for creatives to come together and to be inspired by one another. And from that, you know, next projects arise, partnerships arise. And I think that's something which is, you know, really part of the Not Film Festival. Great. And what's coming next for you? Are you working on something particular right now? Yeah, I am. We haven't announced it yet, but we were just speaking about the screenplay competition. So there was a writer who actually won a section of the screenplay competition. And I thought this writer had such this great talent and I tried to help him find a manager and agent in Los Angeles and it, it didn't work out. So in the end, I said to him, I said, look, you know, I really do think within our community that um, if nothing else, we can make this film that you've, you know, you have this great screenplay and we can make this um, into a film and I think we can do it for a low budget at the very least. So uh, do you want to please give me a try and see what I can do in helping to produce this project? So one thing has led to another, and, and we haven't announced it yet, but I can say that the, 
the writer got an amazing, uh, we were, you know, amazing deal. We found him an agent, and it's a really exciting project that we uh, that you know is going to be made uh, in a safe time uh, yeah. coming up. And then I'm also working on a documentary series as well, which I'm going to uh, direct, which uh, uh, we're developing right now, and. Um, a film that I help uh, produce, which is in current distribution, is the Bukowski film, An Evening with Bukowski, uh, which we've just released in the United States. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I wish you the best with that. And thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me on your show. Of course. <laughs>